and welcome to today's episode of Focus Atlanta. I am your host, Keisha Lancelin. Thank you so much for tuning in with us this Sunday afternoon. In our first segment, we're going to talk a little bit about ADHD. I'm here with Dr. Howard Shub. Dr. Shub, thank you for being on the show. Nice to be here. Tell me, is it difficult to actually diagnose uh, both children and adults with ADHD? Well, I, I think the difficulty is that so much of it is subjective. Uh, we rely a lot on parent report, child report, teacher reports, and sometimes that can be very, uh, very difficult. There are often other problems besides attentional problems that uh, uh, impact on the evaluation of attention problems too. Wow. So is the quotient the first type of actual machine that could help you diagnose a student? This is the first um, objective test that's actually been FDA approved wow. for this purpose. There have been more primitive versions of it in past years, but this really takes it into a, a new generation, I think. Uh, it looks at uh, issues of impulsivity, attention, motion, uh, uh, distractibility that go into the evaluation of uh, attentional problems and puts objective numbers around it as baseline and as we begin treating children. Wow. Okay, so tell me a little bit about how it works. How, does, how, do, how do you use this to help the children? Uh, in, in my practice, uh, it's, a, it's a tool in the evaluation of attention problems. So mm -hmm. we, while we do get history, teacher and parent rating scales. Uh, we will do this generally as a baseline uh, in evaluating uh, the test. Uh, the test is a uh, what we call a, uh, a go, no-go test, but it's basically looking at a child's response uh, in a 15 or 20 minute period of time. Mm -hmm. uh, it measures motion, um, and this, uh, this headband is put on the, on the uh, child. There is a sensor right here that is picked up by the cameras that you can see right here, and it measures micro-incremental movements of the child's head, and in the older child, leg motion as well, uh, which is highly correlated with issues of inattention. Another thing I would just comment is the bulk of the test is the way that this keyboard uh, a space bar on the keyboard is used to indicate um, uh, responses when a child sees uh, a certain star figure. They're asked to push it and when they, okay. and when they uh, see another star figure, not to push it. So it looks at errors of omission, commission, attentiveness, distractibility. Wow. Tell me a little bit about how using this quotient system actually helps you to determine what's working and what's not working. Well, the, uh, the, the quotient system measures motion, it measures errors of omission, commission, latency of response, and variability of response. And here is a good example of how this information is so nicely graphically demonstrated. Um, this is a, a transition from no medicine to optimal medication with the marker showing less m motion as time goes on, and most importantly, uh, the green uh, shows 30 second increments of information that are virtually not present on no medicine and virtually present completely on the optimal dosage of medicine. I would imagine initially they go to their primary physician and say this is what's going on, this is what's happening in school. When, when is it appropriate to say, you know what, maybe we need to visit a neurologist to see exactly what's going on? Um, uh, I think uh, uh, many neurologists are comfortable with, with this. Uh, I, I particularly, in our group particularly, uh, is. Many pediatricians handle it on their own. The simpler cases, when they have other problems, uh, associated learning problems, tics or Tourette syndrome, uh, um, emotional issues, they may see a neurologist or a psychiatrist. Excellent. Um, I'm sorry, tell me a little bit about your practice and, and how people can uh, uh, find you. I, I'm a child neurologist, a pediatric neurologist in, in Atlanta, and uh, at, we're at Child Neurology Associates uh, PC, uh, www.childneuro.org. And if you have further questions about the test itself, there are several of people in town that have this. That's hmm. uh, uh, biobdx.com, which is the biobehavioral diagnostic, the company that uh, manufactures and, uh, this test. And they provide interpretation of the test and then we use that as a as in part of our overall package in both assessing baseline and in um, fine-tuning the treatments once we uh, do identify attentional problems. Wonderful. Thank you so much for coming on the show and sharing all this information. You're welcome. 
Well, there you have it. Everything that you need to know. Please take the opportunity to visit the website if you'd like to learn more. If you're a parent and you're finding this is something that might be helpful to you and your family, take the opportunity to visit the website. And we'll be right back here on CW69.